Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Blue Force. We're on part 8. My name is LMG, and in our previous video, uh, we learned... Uh, we found f f uh, Force Fallout, and we took him into custody. And we learned a little bit about a man named Snake, whoever that is. And we found some ammunition and evidence that tied this snake person possibly to the murders that happened but also we found an island that may or may not have some shipments and it tied it to the future wave which we saw earlier when we were dealing with Bradford Green it seems like it's all connected somehow so today we are headed off to the marina so we're going to try and rent a boat and go check out this island and see what we can come up with. Let's see if the future wave is actually there. It might, might, might not be. I think it's actually out and about. Oh, how wouldn't you know? The future wave is back. Alright, we'll probably should make a save. We're going to call it Island, because we're going to be going to visit an island. Well, let's see if we can go uh, check out the future wave. Of course, we have no actual physical police business. Door's locked. Hmm. No time to take it out for a spin. That's locked as well. Well, if it's back here, maybe we can get the keys for it. Let's go talk to Mr. Carter and see if, uh, if we can actually rent a boat. He did give us some boating coupons, right? Hey, what's that over there on the ground? A fishing net. Hmm. Might come in handy. Alright, well, let's go talk to Mr. Carter. Hi again, Mr. Carter. Hi, Ryan. I'd like to rent a boat. No problem, Jake. I'll fix you right up. There you go. Just pick out the ones marked rent. Thanks, Mr. Carter. I'll find them. Let's take a look here. What we got? Mr. Carter has the keys to several boats in his box. All right. Can we pick one? Let's see. What do we got here? These are the keys to the beautiful flyer. Oh, well, we can't pick up that one. This key unlocks what Mr. Carter calls his Windjammer, an eight-foot rowboat with a sail. Hmm. Nope. These are the keys to the Future Wave. Hey! Future Wave keys are here. Can't grab those, though, in front of Mr. Carter, right? We try to. Mr. Carter won't let you take those keys right from under his nose. Oh. There's probably got to be a way to distract him somehow, right? What else do we got here? I don't think the skipper will ever come back to pick up the keys to the minnow. Can we take those? Nope. This key unlocks what Mr. Carter calls his windjammer. And, yep, yep. These keys are to the rental boat. Well, how could we get him to leave? Maybe he wants a fishing hook. Or a hook. Hook is useless here. What about a fishing net? It's not outside. I won't do anything in this situation. Hmm. We have a coin. Maybe that'll work. This is a coin from my dad's collection. Let's have a look. I've got a price guide in the back. Oh, there we go. Perfect opportunity to take the keys. Excellent. Grab that one. And the rental. Oh, that, you didn't even notice. That's a pretty nice specimen. It's worth about 50 bucks. 
That's great. Thanks for looking at it. No problem. Gotta go, Mr. Carter. See you later. All right, well, before we go check out this island... Why don't we... Go check out the future wave. See if there's any evidence. And if there is, maybe we'll help tie things together. After all, the boat's locked, so there's nobody on it. So we probably should be pretty good. We'll have to make sure everything's locked again to make it look look uh, normal. Is, it, is this the... That's for the rental. Future wave, there we go. Alright, let's unlock the door and take a look at... See what we got here. Interior of the future wave. The table looks like it hasn't been cleaned in days. Anything back here? Let's take a look around. Bed is a mess. Drawers and cabinets from the perimeter of the room. Don't have time for a nap. There's a cabinet here, though. Well, there's an air vent. And the shutters. Pulling that does nothing. Shutters. Well, it doesn't look like there's any in for anything that we can grab here. Right? Nothing we can grab inside the boat. So, if we can't do anything in the boat, well, now what? Well, actually, what we need to look for isn't in the room. But actually, in this potted plant here. Check the soil and find a key in there. There we go. This, this key is in the planter. Now, of course, we may have to put everything back afterwards. So... We'll lock the door. There we go. Make it look like we haven't uh, done anything. And we'll head off to our, uh, our boat. Our rental boat, that is, because we're going to go check out the island. Because there could be something there for us. Now, some of these episodes in this particular Let's Play are a little bit longer than others. Um, and that's just because I like to have it episodic, or where there's a good cliffhanger. Let's get on the rental boat. Take off. Oh yeah, we found ourselves a little island. Conveniently, hmm? Alright. Well, we found ourselves on an island. Let's see what we can find here. What's this? The old fire pit has not been used for several days. Broken pieces of lumber are scattered about. Well, can we pick up any of the lumber? No. About this box over here. Wooden crate lines beneath the beach. Well, let's take a look at the crate. What do we got here? Carefully looking, you see nothing out of the ordinary. A pile of rags. 
and a half empty jar of diesel fuel. Well, I'm sure they won't mind if we pick those up. Might come in handy. Make another save, call it the island. And since we don't know really what we're dealing with, we might as well load our gun. Might know we're coming. All right, well, let's go check things out. Oh, I hear a dog. That's not good. What do we got here? It looks like a warehouse. And a vicious Rottweiler. Well, how are we going to get rid of the dog? We open up this door. Dog's definitely going to get us. Well, if it wasn't obvious, we're definitely going to use the net on the dog. You throw the net nearly neatly over the vicious dog. And now we can open the door without the dog bugging, bugging us. And we're also going to use it on the door. And we'll check out what's happening here. I don't know why the graphics are uh, all messed up here. One sec, guys. Sorry about that. We'll see if uh, if I can restore it, so you can see what kind of what it looks like. It's weird that it did that. Let me try it again. Huh. Graphically, it's, uh, it's not doing it. I'm going to try it again. Okay, well, I guess we'll, we'll deal with it. But basically, we're inside a warehouse. And, uh, we need to figure out how to turn the lights on. So there's a panel over here that you can't see, but we're going to go over there. There we go. Turn the lights on. Aha! There we go. Now we can see. Looks like we found a secret panel. Do anything? Nothing, huh? All right. Well, let's take a look around and see what we got here. An old paint cans that's on top of lumber. Lumber looks like the kind used to make packing crates. The portable generator looks like it's new. Several walls of insulation are stacked against the wall. The wall looks to be made of congregated metal siding. A small forklift is parked in the middle of the warehouse floor. A yellow power cord hangs on the wall. Hey, that might come in handy. I bet we could probably use one end of the power cord. in here, right? There we go. It looks like there's another power cord over here. A black power cord. Let's grab that. And we can use the power cord here as well. Keys for the forklift are missing. Uh oh. Oh, I guess sorry. We can connect to the uh, the generator. My bad. Sorry, misclicked. Little black one. There, like that. And the yellow one, like that. And look at that. We have ourselves a secret room. 
What happens if we click this? Closes? Ah. So it opens. Grab our gun. I want to use a gun here? Well, it seems like we are alone. Let's see what's in this back room. What do we got going on here? The government crates are made of cheap pine. There's a toolbox. Nothing in the toolbox. What about this crate? The government crates are made of cheap pine. The crates are heavy. Let's open up one and see what we got inside. Automatic weapons! This has to be the stuff from the Strathmore Armory heist. That definitely looks like some weapons, all right. This ought to be enough to convince the ATF to help us. All I have to do now is cover my tracks and get this weapon back to Lyle. Alright. Now we gotta make it look like we were never here. So, how do we make it look like we were never here? Well, we're gonna close this off. We're gonna take both of these. Turn the generator off. And put the cords back where we found them. So we found the yellow one over here, and the black one over here, and we'll turn the lights off. And the game goes back to its funky colors, because I don't know, it's an old school game. And we're going to lock the door. Close the gate. Lock that too. And then that's where the hook comes in handy, so we can grab the net. The dog is not happy, but no worries. Head back to the boat and head back to Lyle. Tell him what we found. We're getting one step closer to possibly finding the killer. Maybe. Possibly. All right, well, we're back at the rental area. And, uh, we, we can give the keys back to... Thanks for the boat, Mr. Crowder. I'll just put these keys back in the box. Now you're thinking, what are we gonna do about the gay key? Well, we don't have to worry about that. We'll hold on to that. And uh, we'll head back to Lyle's and let him know what we found. Tell him, hey man, we found some guns. That island is loaded. Whoever's on there or doing some work over there, there's definitely something going on. Somehow, it may be all connected. Do 
How'd it go with the ATF? They're reluctant to step in without more proof. Well, you want proof? I got your proof right here. I've got all the proof the ATF will need right here. That weapon could only have come from the Strathmore Armory heist. Good work, Jake. The ATF office will be closed by now. I'll have to leave a message for Special Agent Forbes. We can't wait for the ATF, Jake. We'll have to do this on our own. You go on home and get some rest. Rent a boat at Carter's in the morning. I'll meet you there. All right. ATF is closed, so that's not going to help. So we're going to have to get Lyle to talk to Forbes. And maybe Forbes will help us. The next day. All right. Well, now we need to go around a video or a boat, and we need to go head out there again with Lyle. And we need to bust whoever's down there and find out what's going on, because, you know, we can't wait for the ATF. But we're going to do that in the next video.